Hi everyone, it's Steph and welcome to another video. Here's hoping that you are healthy, happy and enjoying your best weaving life. I'm so excited to share this table runner with you. Um, this table runner is using the clasp weft technique that gives you a single weft style. I love this table runner and consequently I'm keeping this one. The colours I'm using for this project um, are this light beige colour which is the base colour and for the pebbles I'm using this dark olive green, this darker beige colour, I think it's called Sierra, this marine navy blue <clears throat> and the last one is um, the frombar which is raspberry. Here I'm just marking the centre of the heddle so that I can centre the weaving for a 48 centimetre total weaving width in a 12.5 dent um, reed or heddle. You can absolutely substitute this for a 12 without a, without a problem. Here I'm just marking with a piece of scrap yarn where I start warping and where I finish just to make things quick and easy for myself. Warping up was really easy, just one colour, the beige, and just doing one loop through each slot and I'll thread the heddle after I have wound on. So nice and quick and easy warp. Because this is quite a small warp, it's under two metres, I'm just winding on direct through to the peg. So that's just as easy as unhooking your loom and then winding towards your pegs um, to get a nice even tension. Threading the reed was super easy, just a matter of moving one thread from a slot to a hole uh, across the entire warp. Once threading was done, I tied off little bundles of eight threads and then lashed them on with some scrap yarn. A bit of a tip, the smaller you make your little bundles, the easier it is to spread your warp when you're ready to weave. Then it's just a matter of making sure my tension is even across all of the little bundles um, and then tying off. Remember they don't have to be really tight, they just have to be even in their tension. Because I've got a fringe, um, I'm just doing a very quick two by two hem stitch, which is my favorite way of securing the warp when you have a fringe. Thank you. 
To make sure all of my pebbles were roughly the same size, I've marked out all of the points um, on the heddle where the entry point is, so where I'm starting. And then to the first marker, I'm actually increasing by four in each row. And then to the second marker, increasing by two, and to the last marker, increasing by one, and then doing four even rows and then coming back in the other direction and that's going to make my pebble shapes. I will show here how to do the um, clasped weft single style um, but without instruction. If you want more instruction on how to do this technique I've linked my um, instructional video on this technique. I'll link it at the very end of the video so that you can have a look at that if you wish. I'm just going to stop talking now just so you can enjoy the weaving for a little while. Now that I've finished weaving, I'm just doing a quick two by two hem stitch to secure the warp. Now 
I wet finish this in my washing machine on the delicate cycle with just a little bit of dish soap or dishwashing liquid just to get rid of any machine oils. Dried it flat and then gave it a good iron. Trimmed off all of my ends and then trimmed off the edges just using my fat finger weight width um, to measure and that's it done. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and wish to support me, please click the like button. If you feel comfortable, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget, stay tuned for next week where we tackle a clasped warp.